Hello everyone. Welcome to the Ozark Outpost in Dixon, Missouri. This is the United States in KMT, January 1939. While I was planning what to do this turn, I came across something in the rules that uh, isn't stated. Well, it is and it isn't. I'm assuming this is going to be addressed when the updates to the national reference sheets are made available Monday, but as of right now, it's up in the air. Uh, on the U.S. reference card, there is a section for lend lease which says the Americans are limited in their ability to lend lease per uh, conditions stated on their income abilities in their income abilities uh, section. So I go to the uh, box for U.S. income abilities, and it doesn't say there when they can begin lend leasing. So, until uh, I find out otherwise, I'm going to say that the United States can begin lend leasing once they reach an income of 15. The reason I, I chose that level is because once they're at 15, they can deny the Axis powers use of the Panama Canal. My reasoning is if you can declare your allegiance to uh, the Commonwealth and France at that level by telling their, uh, their opponents, you can't use our canal, I, I think you should also reasonably be able to uh, send them some help at the same level uh, rather than waiting until the next uh, tier, which is 35 IPP, when the United States can begin uh, providing escort duty in the Atlantic Ocean. So, all that uh, stated, the United States has $8 in its bank to start, and they're going to save those $8 and add to it for next turn so they can start doing some lend lease. KMT had eight in their bank to start, which they are spending on two mountain infantry. Uh, one thing I forgot to do with regard to KMT, get this thing up here so we can see. While I was uh, looking for uh, the, the Lend-Lease Rules clarification, I uh, came across the Burma Road Rule for Nationalist China, which I had forgotten about. Uh, the Burma Road opens in uh, July 1938 or when KMT is at war with a major power. Well, since Japan invaded them, they're now at war, and uh, the uh, nationalists were supposed to get an income bonus of one when the Burma Road opened. So I will adjust that now and move them up to six. Yes. So they actually have, adjust this back down here, since they should have gotten that at the end of their last turn. KMT now has one remaining in their bank. Okay, that's all corrected. United States has their five tech chips, oh, wrong way. 
So, this is what we're going to do with them. They are going to try once again to advance jet fighters. Same with heavy bombers. Same with strategic rockets. They are going to try to start radar. And they're going to make another go at starting attack transports. So let's get to rolling these. Jet Fighters is an 8. Missed it with a 3. Heavy Bombers is a 9. Well, they got that with an 11. Strategic Rockets is a 9. Missed it with a 2. Radar is a 7. They got that with an eight. And attack transports is an eight. They missed that with a one. Okay. No combat for the United States. No non-combat for the United States. Uh, no combat for KMT. They're just, uh, well, most of what they have on the board is militia. And, uh, they, as a general rule, they can't attack. So, uh, non-combat moves... We're not going to have any of those either. Everybody's going to hold in place. So we'll place units. The two mountain infantry are going to go to Shen Si here. So, well, there I am knocking guys over. They're going to go to Shen Si to join Chiang Kai-shek's main force, so I'll put them on the task force card over here. And that will be that. Uh, yes. Collect income. The United States is up to 12 after Japan's Invasion of China. Add that to the eight. They saved. They'll have $20 next turn. KMT's at six plus one will be seven next turn. This is the Ozark Outpost. Over and out.